Hey everyone, Larry Satchwell here. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. And I've got this beautiful box elder wood that my son gave me this summer. Still has a little bit of moisture in it, but it's for the most part very dry. I've got it, went on the internet and just got some free clip art. And uh, this one's gonna be live edge. This one's not. This is the heat treated ash that I use for Ken and Dana's uh, picnic table. I had a chunk of it left over and uh, had a couple of chunks of it left over. So we're going to make some candles here. A few minutes ago I glued these up uh, onto the uh, wood here. These are small enough that I don't want to use in a hard, very hard wood. don't want to use my jigsaw, so I'm going to use my bandsaw. So I've set these on my foam pieces that I can cut right through. I've got a scrolling blade in here. It's a brand new blade. Just barely goes through this wood, which I like. Let's give this a shot. It's a lot easier because now I have several places I can hold it with. And I'm gonna stay right outside the line. All right, safety first. I, I felt this moving a little bit, so I need to change positions here to make it a little bit easier for myself. Backed it up a little bit and turned it off. There's one. I really, this really made a smooth cut. The hardest part about making these is sanding, 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 especially when you've got a tight groove like that. A little smoke coming out of that uh, at, towards the end there. That, so that blade is a little bit dull, but this is really big material. But I don't see any burn marks on the blade. So I'm gonna try to get this other smaller heart out of it. Well, I'm not sure what happened there, but my camera turned off. I assure you I still have 10 fingers and it didn't do anything silly, but I am really impressed with this blade. This is a Botch T10180. It's 20 teeth per inch, and it is really smooth. I anticipate on doing a whole lot of sanding here, and that's just not gonna be the case. So I've got this larger one. I'm gonna cut it out just like I did the smaller one. All right, when you get into a situation like this, you need to reassess and give it some thought on exactly how you're gonna do this safely. I've secured it to the edge of my bench here. The sole of the saw is gonna be in the way when it gets over here. So I'll take the clamp off and reestablish re it over here.
it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and take this paper off because the longer this uh, 3M sits on there, the harder it is to get off. Well, I have candy here. This cat is over 20 years old. She lives in the basement here because she doesn't use a litter box anymore and she's ruined a couple of carpets. So if you hear candy in the background, this is she. What do you think, Candy? Wow. I know. I, you can't please her. She's crying right now, but she has food and water. And I think she just wants some attention. I've got all the paper off. This is a 3M General Purpose 45. The easiest way to get that off is with lacquer thinner and it dries pretty quickly. I've got my five hearts cut out here. Candy. Candy just broke off three of my leaves here. All right, girl, you're going down to the floor. Okay, it's okay. I have some decisions to make. Okay, so here I have about five, a little over five minutes of video talking about my thought process. And basically, it's just trial and error, looking to see what looks good and the height and what might go well with each other. And I realized that it was just way too much explanation. So everything is ready for sanding. To sand these flat surfaces, I have a piece of 100 grit sandpaper glued down to this thick piece of MDF. And so I'm gonna start there. Then I'll progress. This is 120. And I'll ease the edges with this. And get over here to get into these spots I have these uh, contoured shaped little sandy blocks this one fits in there really well so all you do there is wrap it with a piece of sandpaper so for the next hour or so it's sand 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 and I'm not gonna leave the video on After sanding the big one, I was listening to Johnny Cash and Pandora, and this wood is so hard, it took me forever to sand the other one. And all of a sudden, Johnny started singing, the burning ring of fire, and it came to me that I could burn this one and make it a whole lot easier on myself. And if you do a corny dad joke, you could say, my, my heart's on fire for you, honey. I've got a burning desire for you. All of which I'm sure you'll get a good roll of the eyes. That's what you're going for. We'll give these two a clear finish. Krylon Color Max Clear. probably give them a couple of coats and then on the other three I'm going to use my favorite finisher and Minwax antique oil finish so I spent approximately an hour sanding all five of these well I didn't sand that one so four of them just a few minutes it took to burn that other one 
I find it best in, for me to wipe this off as soon as I've wiped it on. And I'll probably give this a couple of coats. And again, getting down here in the crux of the heart here is the hardest part. But boy, that brings out that green. Wow. I sanded these down to 220. Well, here are my sweetheart candles. I made five of these in a the morning, took my time. If you don't have wood, you say you don't have wood that big a piece, well, you can glue up some of your old projects and you can make them huge if you want to. This one turned out better than I thought. And the advantage you have with these is you can always substitute a plant in them if you're not in the mood for a candle. Thanks for watching, and I hope to have some more ideas for you before Valentine's Day.